Hello everyone and welcome everybody on the BusyCast, episode 78, as far as I'm concerned. Give me a second. Yeah. The title is the program, and we're starting off with Tech Madness. Jackie is also in, thank you so much for joining. And Gabriel also, what's up? Yeah. 78. So I have only roughly an hour, so we have to squeeze in as much as we can. Hopefully we'll make it somehow. Yeah, uh, so I'll play some of the stuff that you guys sent me and also some uh, hip-hop beats at the end. So if you are interested in this, definitely want to tune in especially because many of the beats by um, Kollega on this new album are produced by Arab Music, who is probably known to some of you. So yeah, can't wait. Sorry, I'm going to this myself. I want that. I'll just drop it quickly on Twitter. And we're starting off with the track Indifference. And it's by Flash89. I'll drop the link in a bit. Give me a second till I drop it for Twitter. So. I really love, uh, really love the last week's episode of um, of uh, Criteria. Because um, Sylain really did a great job on um, on the different tech tunes, and you probably saw me buying all the stuff of of P4. That was not for for social media. I really did this. And nearly joined over on um, on Insta. Thank you so much. I love those kind of very quick ones. So yeah, I'm interested in how this will turn out. So yeah, I'm also on Facebook here. Also Gineri, hi. So how does it turn look like? Give me a second. Yeah. I'm always a bit stressed in the beginning, but it should be fine. Oh, this is the wrong one. Oh, this is a sick track. I guess I bought it off beat 40 even, as far as I'm concerned. It's by Flash89 and it's called Indifferent. Fantastic tech tune. I'm gonna open up with some of the tech tunes and then some of the stuff that you sent me. Especially I'm very happy about one certain track that I heard just now. So... Baselines, mm, so in love. Oh, okay. I should be back again. So, yeah, this is Flash 89 with Indifference. And up next, so there was one more track that I loved a lot. I guess it was Drive by Alaya and Gallo. Those were the two favorite ones, but there are so, so many. So maybe I'll play one or two more. By the way, two, two things on me that look totally bad today. His one like this uh, bubble here that came out, it's horrible as hell. And also my um, my glasses are not 100% in the right direction. But yeah, I, I, I kinda, um, I stepped on them. <laughs> actually, I guess last night or so. I tried actually to do it myself, but it didn't work out. Hi Paul, nice to you tune in. Uh, and yeah, yeah, today's the birthday of Axwell, indeed. Yeah, happy birthday Axwell. Oh, he's almost a um, a Jesus child, Christ child. I really wanna. I had one uh, Christ child uh, in in my class. I love this bass line. Oh my goodness! So when I heard this, 
When Styline dropped it, oh my god. It was instant material for my busy cast. Some of the stuff I really didn't know before. Sick track. Well, and it's, uh, as always, uh, like over the last couple of weeks, I'm also doing a Spotify playlist. No, that's not a Christ child. 25th is not Jesus Christ's birthday. It's the 24th. It's almost. But this is actually shit because you get only a present once a year. Presents once a year. This is. Yeah, this is very unlucky. So, Alaya and Galo will drive. Not a huge fan of this. Um, Yeah, Christmas is on the 25th, but Christmas Eve is on the 24th. This is the same, actually, there's now an ad uh, running um, on one of the largest German private uh, TV stations. And in that ad they are saying, or it is written, that Christmas is on the 24th of December. And this is a lie. On the 24th there's just Christmas Eve. This is a huge difference. And I'm so pissed off by this. I don't know why, but I actually... I hate it when people are wrong. Wait, I needed to. Fine. You just reminded me that I should check the people. Uh, how they call? A liar, okay. A liar and Galo, and this is the one guy. Maybe when I put down the like, I'll tell you. 10,000 likes on Facebook, not bad. With the track drive. I'm not a huge fan on, um, on, on on the vocals here, to be honest, but when like the um, when a drop comes in, oh my goodness. And maybe I play. Uh, Biscuits with Socialize, I like that one a lot. And of course, a fantastic new remix by um, by Vitalik. You're gonna you're gonna see that later. So Sarah joined as well. Thank you so much. Yeah, but I, I love the bassline and the hi hats. How everything fits well together. Beautiful housey track. So in love. So you should definitely check this out. So next up is uh, Biscuits with Socialize. I guess that was, wasn't it released on Tour Room? I'll have to check. Give me a second. Want to let it play. Yeah, I see it on a very techy house tune. But a great vocal in there, yeah, I remember that. Ooh, yes. No, 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 no. Based on this fucking my mind. No, it's not there. It's... Uh, the label is called Solo Toko. Yeah, it's a vocal. And I like how it builds up slowly. Kids, okay. Somebody else called social over there. Yes. I guess he's from like this. He has only 442 likes. I'm also very early on him. So you should definitely check him out before he sold sells out. So Eva is here and Joachim also over there. Thank you so much for joining. Up with this one. Now I want to like this guy. Give me a second. Because I totally, I guess I didn't do that yet. No, I didn't. Yeah. So, no, I just also liked. so yeah, I have absolutely st 
deck of tech tunes tonight. Unfortunately, I can't play all of you, uh, all of them. But they are actually uh, they are both simultaneous. Decking. I guess. But, I mean, life is life. Just how one <laughs> Austrian band um, sang in the '80s. This is one of the Austrian pop classics. Track is called "Life Is Life" and it's by Opus. So I'm gonna send it to you. Everybody in Austria knows the track. Even like my generation, like even the younger guys. Oh, at least I hope. I mean, like, I, I guess that they are not just listening to all this crappy cloud trap music there. Oh, this is Vass, Bianco. It's Vass. That sounds a bit like Falco. So, okay. I'm actually not on topic here. A new remix for. Steve Angelo's Rejoice featuring TG Japes in the Vitalik remix. That was out last week on um, on Size Records, of course. Pontus is also here, thank you so much for joining. I have to, to look for it, whether it's on Spotify, yeah, it is. I'm, I'm, so, I'm actually surprised every time when I'm looking for something on Spotify, so you have to know, probably some of you already know, that I do not use Spotify uh, like on a daily basis. Because I have my MP3 packs still. I'm doing the busy car. I'm doing the busy cast playlists for you, and also for me as a reference, but only as a reference. So I, I guess I play this sometimes maybe at work if my boss is not here, like you know, very silent and all that, and on headphones, like over the over the desktop because on the desktop I can I can log in, but I don't even have the uh, the app on my phone, so because I don't need it. And also it's shitty quality if you don't pay those 10 euros a month, so I'm not willing to because I'm not using it as much that it's really worth it. If it's gonna be, if it is of course my only source, then it would be maybe worth it, but I have like uh, a few sources and this is enough. But now you can already hear the, the vocal. Oh wait, I didn't have to do this twice, otherwise it wouldn't work. He's like, he's a, uh, I mean, he's... So it's, it's very interesting. So it's very interesting, it's kind of a tech track, but it's so dark that it sounds to me like techno. It's very interesting to listen to. So, yeah. So, actually it's uh, unheard, so I was very surprised when I heard it for the first time. I thought, wow, you can make such a dark vibe out of this track. I mean, it wasn't like, um, as it was still very dark in the original, but this one is like a new one. My, my glasses are looking horrible, sorry about that, guys. You have to go for this, like, it's not about my look, it's about the music, so... I hope it doesn't really matter to you. Now he's actually the fixes in the background are very interesting. And actually he's yeah, he's uh, reverbing out the vocal. So yeah, it's very interesting. Um, both sound design and um, arrangement. In in that form unheard to me. So I wouldn't never actually think of a remix for Rejoice, to be honest. To me, actually, it sounded, uh, yeah, it sounded very, yeah, um, electronica-esque, and I believe it should have stayed like this. So otherwise, oh, who, who would care then? Yeah. So Daniel is also in, thank you so much for joining. But you should definitely check this out if you like this kind of stuff. It's a, a bit rough, a bit... Um, I don't know, uh, fully loaded, I would say, with with a tech uh, with a techno vibe, I would rather say, but I believe still worth checking out for sure. Yeah, and now a track. I'm very happy. Uh, it, it, I I got the scent. Um, give me a second because I need to I need to find it again because as always, I am of course not prepared. This is the usual stuff. I go home. I actually turn it on. Give me a second, because I, uh, actually I don't see it here. 
So this is a uh, this is a track by my friend that I'm actually very uh, very happy that he sent me this because uh, he released it just uh, yesterday. Uh, and his name is uh, Dian, just like lion but with a D and a Y. And yeah, um, he released the track Motion, and I'm going to play it now. And I just heard it on the way, so you just saw me basically coming from, if you saw my stories, um, from the Opera House, because I had to do something in the first district of Vienna, so I was not inside there, but just outside. And then went into the, uh, uh, into the metro or a sub, uh, yeah, subway, and then well, underground, whatever you want to call it, so many different names for this. U-Bahn in German. And then, yeah, I went straight home, then had to take another bus because, well, I was closer there. Uh, I left my car at the working, sp working place today. And yeah, and on the way, um, Dennis, my friend, sent me this, aka Diane. And I'm so happy that he sent me this. Um, I'm not sure, I guess it's probably not on Spotify. I haven't asked him, to be honest, and he's, he doesn't seem uh, alive yet, so... But I would actually love to ask him about... Um, about the track. He has it on Spotify. Is that no, it doesn't, okay. What is it? Is it this? No. Aha, there's another guy called Nine. Okay, it seems like it's not him. Give me a second because I'm just now. Yeah, that's that's definitely not him. Maybe it is him, I don't know. No, it's, it's not it's not possible. Probably not him. But yeah, check this out. How punchy it is. Oh there he is! There we go. Just in time for your track, Dennis. Yeah. So, actually, it has such a surprising drop. I like it a lot. Yeah, I like this. It's kind of it's it's still tacky, but with a dark vibe. Yeah. Uh, is it is it on Spotify? I guess it isn't. I guess because it's very very tough to get this, but it should be easier in the future. To even uh, you don't even need a label uh, in the future for put it up for putting it out on Spotify. Yeah, but yeah, I like also like the synthy here. It's very minimalistic. So it's a mix of of tech techno and like two um, Ks progressive. I love it. Uh, Sisakos is also in, and Hannes also over on Insta. Thank you so much for joining. Oh, you just made it over the weekend. Great. And that's how what I love about so much about electronic music, and it kind of still gets me, gets me going, you know, because um, um, I'll I'll share it of course. Give me a second, um, because I believe it's it's free download, so it should be fine. And. And you should definitely check him out as well. He's called Giant. Because so sometimes you only need, you know, just a simple idea and just work it over the weekend. And yeah, and then you're ready to go for track, even a simple one. If, if, if I could produce like this, I would be so happy. Really. Definitely also like this page. So I linked it there for those people. And maybe also I'll also link it on YouTube later than when I put it up. And the next drop. This is this is really dark vibe Axel material. I'm so in love. Oh my goodness. This is Axel 2Ks. Oh my goodness. Dennis, what have you done this? Actually, I was to be honest, uh, I don't know, I'm getting more ashamed the older I get. And usually, you know, when I was on the on the on the U-Bahn right now on the U4, actually I <laughs> I was shaking my head to this. I was, oh my goodness, this is so sick. And you're hiding in front of me, dude. You need you need to send the fire straight to me if you do something like this. Simple, minimalistic, but so good. I remember Umek producing a track. It was called "It's Simple but It Works Like Fuck," and it's actually just how it perfectly describes it. Simple but it works like fuck. Just enjoy it. 
I guess Jackie is still in. What do you think about this or uh, Sisakos? I was pretty interested. And it's definitely for free download also up. like great how you how you arranged it really it's like the uh, proper arrangement with a long outro so you can really play it out for longer five minutes it's okay so absolutely great yeah minimal house but like with, with a bit more it's it's more than just minimal tracking so uh, that's that, that's what I think so but it's definitely great work and also I, I know Dennis for a long long time already and uh, maybe I'd, uh, I'll tell you this quickly. We met for the first time. Uh, I believe it must have been three years ago already. Um, we were we went together by train to Graz and in Graz, so the second second largest city in Austria. Now, so like after Vienna. And in Graz, they were playing uh, Arno Kost and Markus Schossoff. They had a gig there. It was a sick gig. Little people, but they played amazing music. So I will remember for believe for a lifetime how um Anna Kost as the last track of his um of his set played um An Solo to Life. That was I guess my second favorite um, track back then. And like the whole year. So back then it was the, the hype was at its peak. And and uh, yeah, and we met there. So uh, we went there uh, together with Dominic. So you know him already from our previous busy cast, like two like two years ago already. I guess he was on my show. And um, in one of the early stages of the busy cast, I would have actually to look for it, which which episode it was. But yeah, and we met there. Actually, we hooked up. We kind of still um, are in touch over Facebook and hope to see each other again. Uh, this weekend, actually, when Kirch is coming, uh, on Friday, I believe. It's not that far away anymore. Yeah, Kirch, this Friday in Vienna. Hype! Never seen him live, and finally he's coming to Austria, and actually to, to some place where I can go. So I'm actually very happy that he's finally coming, um, and I can finally see a set um, of him. So, yeah. Oh, what? Okay, that's interesting. Someone sent me something. Okay, I, I would have to check this. Okay, no, that's that's not personally for me. I guess that's a bot. Okay, never mind. So anyway, I uh, just wanted to tell you this. Uh, Dennis, wonderful work. Thank you so much for sending this. And yeah, I believe we can now qu quickly step over to a bit more progressive. Because I have a sick progressive track, but I believe first what I will play is something that I actually haven't <laughs> properly heard yet. Yeah, but Kirch is hype. Kirch hype. Absolutely. Maybe maybe I'll play one track of him maybe. when I feel like it. Uh, maybe. Uh, but first I want to play the new track by Matt Nash. Um, I'm not sure. I guess I heard it once, but not 100%. So I'm actually interested in how it sounds in the, in the extended mix, because I haven't heard it yet. The file is fine. Okay, so let's uh, check this out. Uh, Matt Nash with Frequency. This is the last track to release this year. Um, I can I can only say that um, one of Matt Nash's tracks that he released this year will be sorry uh, next week uh, in my uh, best of 2018. That's what that I can say. But I don't want to tell which one. Maybe it's easy. Maybe I can tell you this that um, it's uh, it's. Surprisingly refreshing. That's how I described it. So, look it up. And it's also a call out, but I won't say much more. I won't say more. Yeah. So, for example, on this one, I believe it doesn't sound to me really finished. So, you could actually do more with the with the Sunti. Maybe a bit more reverb, maybe some more sounds adding to it. It's very tough, very tough to say. Yeah, and uh, Jackie will also play yours, don't worry about it. I still forget you. That track is gerade, Stefan. It's a Matt Nash frequency. Also, I would recommend you to step over to Facebook because I'll also drop the links there. And uh, I'll also add, add later a Spotify playlist. Then you can re-listen to it again. So, 
So actually, they could, could do actually um, more about it, more, more of it. It's still very nice. I enjoy it. Oh, which one is his uh, page? Fish or something like this? Yeah, measure fish. Yeah, no, right. 111,000 likes. But yeah, it's, it's very nice. It's, it's okay. Something to play for in between. Yeah, but the track is called uh, Frequency and it's by Matt Nash. It's out on uh, SPRS. Oscar Hector Noguera is in. Thank you so much for joining. But I enjoy the track a lot. So, actually, yeah. Uh, maybe not a lot. It's very enjoyable, but it's not like... The, the one that I'll play next week in two, uh, like the best of 2018 after Christmas. Next week means after Christmas. So, it will probably be... Uh, Thursday, Friday, next week, so 27th, 28th, I'm not sure yet. I'm gonna play my favorites of 2018 and there's gonna be another track by Matt Nash. I want this way, way better. That's when I think about it, um, my mind is blown. So, Sveno is also in. Thank you so much for joining, Mr. Simon Kitsu. Uh, yeah. Uh, what else to play? Yeah, maybe this one. A very interesting take. On, um, on uh, probably the uh, Ibiza Anthem 2008, uh, the second one. The first one is obvious, and yeah, I won't mention it now, but it will also be high up in my 2018 best of. And next week, but the second one, there was also a long, long time uh, on the also Beatport Top 100, was Adam Bayer together with somebody else, which I don't have now. I love when producers don't look are too lazy to look up who it is. Um, give me a second. I want to. I want to check this. Um, it's by Adam Bayer, and it's uh, "Losing Your Mind." I believe everybody uh, knows this track. Yeah, together with Bart Skills. This is what I was actually uh, looking for. So this is how the original sounds like. So I guess everybody knows it from the summer. It's not really my cup of tea. I didn't. I guess I never played it on the on my PC cast because I don't know. I didn't feel it so much. I don't know. People are, were loving it all over my Facebook. Wow, what a sick track! And people were even making memes out of the out of the um, sample that was used in there, as far as I remember. And now uh, my guy from China, uh, Hugo Cantara, uh, kind of bootlegged it. I guess he called it remix. I guess it's a bootleg. And I want to give it a play here, but I will add the original. Uh, to the playlist. Uh, I did the same with another track this year. So, I don't It's not on. Wait, give me a second. It's not on Spotify? Are they crazy? I don't think. Your, ah, it's called Your Mind, sorry. The track is called Your Mind. And it's by Hugo Cantera, but I guess it's not on Spotify yet. Because it's from Black. But I will add the original. If you enjoy the original, you can also check it out. That's why I always write in the in the info box of um, of my Spotify this, uh, playlist description mixes uh, asterisk mixes may vary, and this is actually one of the cases. And also, the, uh, basically, so um, uh, so the main the main reason why I write this is radio edit extended mix. I play the extended mix in my cast. But only your radio edit is available on Spotify. That's why, why, why I mainly don't use it, because I want to experience the full track. Yeah. Oh, nice track that you know this one. And it seems like you received it as well. Yeah, I don't want to do, definitely give it a play. Maybe I'll add this. It doesn't sound as bad as I thought. It's just a very interesting take in my, in my ears. So, yeah. Your mind. And the second drop. Yeah. I guess I haven't heard the second drop properly. It's very nice. Indeed. I'll add this to my playlist, Jackie. Thank you so much. I just just uh, drop in the, the proper title because the title is a bit wrong. Yeah. A very nice one.
Yeah, so I definitely prefer this over the original, that's for sure. So yeah, if I, if I actually take this into account, then I'll definitely add it. Yes, absolutely. I'm interested how, how the crowd would react. Because they, they kinda, I don't know, they kinda um, want the original. But yeah, well, it's not happening. Like, that's not 100%, at least. Absolutely nice one. I believe, um, uh, Joachim, now it's time for yours. Uh, just give me a second till I find it out, once you're in. So yeah, I have great news. Um, so Joachim's track that I played, I believe, last time, so it must have been two weeks ago already, sorry for that. I played it, yeah, almost two weeks ago, because last week. So stressful with work and office and uh, university still. This week, no university anymore, but still work in the office. So it's actually the only night where I have, I, Guess a bit of time. And uh, I have a lot of stress in front of me still. Uh, yeah, I have to fight at many, many fronts at, in the office. It's very tough. Two little people, uh, you, you know the deal. Uh, so, give me a second. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing tonight. What is wrong with me? Sorry. Give me a second. Um, where are you? There you are. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, so the track that I played last week, um, or sorry, two weeks ago almost, uh, will be released uh, on, um, what did you write me? Uh, on uh, the 31st, so on uh, Sylvester, so last day of the year, so can't wait. Mm, and yeah, and let's check it out what you, what you sent me. I don't know what I can play the, the uh, to tell you the title, but let's call it ID for now. Give me a sec. Yeah, I can. Okay, nice. So I prefer even to download it once you have it on. So I don't know, Jackie. Yeah, thirty first. Can I can I tell the title of the of the other track? That would be very nice to know once you are in. Because I mean, it has a title and all that. But let's call it ID for now. I, I love to play your stuff, guys, so... Okay, let's keep it as an ID for now. But we have a vocalist, as we can hear. Very interesting city choice. Thank you so much for joining. Wow, it's a surprising drop. Very refreshing. It's so this. It's, it's kind of acid esque. Very tough to, to describe it. Which uh, which synth is it? Is it uh, massive or any of this or silence or a different one? Yeah, there are several layers. I like that. So yeah. Spire. Oh, okay. It's is Spire expensive? I don't even know. Yeah, actually, I'm not a producer. I'm actually so pissed off that I'm not a producer. Because this stuff is very legit. I like that. Julie is also in. Thank you so much for joining. You check this guy out. Your asset ID. For now. Yeah, it's very nice. Regularly priced, okay. I guess it's not like, uh, I guess silent and massive are very expensive. Everything that is by um, native instrument is actually very expensive. So, uh, Who's, who, who's uh, Massive Fine? Got it. Like, complete, sorry, I meant complete. Uh, no, it's Massive is my native instrument, yeah. I know that. And it's on the market since 2007, so not that long. Yeah, I, 
guys. It's us overdriving right there in the end. Yeah, it's so massive is 150 euros. Wow, this is actually very interesting. Inspire. I'll check it out. I guess I, I had it once. Inspire, I don't know. Give me a second till I find it. Um Oh, they, they even have kits. Okay, this is interesting. On Spires by Revealed Sounds. Revealed Sound. They're called, I guess they don't, they're not called, yeah, with Revealed. $190. Okay. Well, still very expensive to my eyes. 190 I mean, for so all, to produce a track like this, uh, you always have to think, well, that there are ways to, uh, to probably undergo it, but still. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, thank you so much, and uh, remember, um, maybe if I, I guess I have the track somewhere here, I guess I added it to my playlist. His track Heartbound will be out on, um, on, um, do I have it? I don't have it. Give me a second. Maybe it was already earlier. Yeah. Yeah, it was a bit earlier even. Maybe I played it on 6th, but I added it earlier. Uh, heartbound Flanger. It was this one, a very nice one. But just as a quick reminder, I just played a couple of seconds. And this will be out December the 31st, so you should definitely watch for it. I was very surprised when I heard it for the first time. To my ears, it's your best production yet. So, and look, you, you can't even like, you, you don't even have to, you know, to do tech house, uh, groove house, uh, progressive house, however you want to call it. Uh, you can still, like, you know, if, um, get me on a track like this. So, yeah, I'm open to, to any genre that's, uh, that's uh, like, a subgenre of electronic music that touches my heart or my brain to some extent. So, yeah. So, up next, I want to play... Um, what can I play? Yeah, maybe I play a bad example. Uh, because I, I do this rarely, and I definitely want to play a rare example. Um... I want to play this, uh, Res and uh, Blank with the track Mixed uh, Mixes Signals, I guess it's called, or Mixed Signals, I don't even know, and uh, this track would be so fantastic if it wasn't overdriven. So the overdrive on this track is horrible. And uh, that's why, well, maybe I'll play this to you, I don't know whether, you, maybe you like it, but I hate it. So this track had so much potential. When I hear it, maybe on this drop it's not as harsh, but on the next one... I mean, people are loving Res. I mean, I'll still add it to my playlist, because, well, it's not of my business whether to like it or not. I cannot make, it, make an opinion about it. You hear this? This is too loud! And I can't enjoy the track because of this shitty... Overdriven snare. It would have had so much potential... But I hate this synth, so, uh, this, uh, sorry for this. Oh, it's not even on, okay, this is, maybe it's called mixed signals. Called mixed signals, okay, this one's wrong. That's what I thought. So it has so much potential, but yeah, well, it didn't really fulfill it, so... Because it, it's, it's a great track, all in all, but yeah, it's simply not, it's not exactly this, you know? Okay, I guess I'll stop this one now because I don't want to play it more. I guess I talked already enough about it. So check it out if you um, if you don't mind as much. But actually, yeah, I, ca I can't listen to this because of this shit. Sorry for that. Uh, Res X blank with mixed signals, and we have a new one on Yasin's label, Mr. Sid with Your Love. It's out now, I guess. I'll just maybe look for it. Give me a second. Mr. Sid, your love. Oh, yes. So it's out now, I guess everywhere on Spotify, wherever. And also on SoundCloud. And I can even add this guy, I forgot how he's called. Um, How, how, what his real name is. I, I knew it during ADE. C, 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 
<laughs> yeah, or something like this is called. Um, and this track is called Your Love. So you should also check this one out. So, I'm not a huge fan of the vocal cuffs, and that's why actually it's not not really my cup of tea. I would have to prefer it as a, as a dub mix. Maybe I'll ask Sid because I'm I'm very good with him whether he can send we get him to produce a dub mix of this. I would like to hear it. It's a dub mix. When I when I actually think about the cut off the vocals. I maybe liked uh, liked it more. Okay. okay. And I guess one more track that had really potential but didn't really make it into my list was the track "Hurt Me No More." Yeah, Redondo and Post Malone and and no, not not Post Malone. I guess only Malone. Seems like this is a huge difference. And this one is the same. Yeah, it sounds a bit gen generic. It had so much potential. So, I want to go more further. But this new, this new, um, this new audacity actually pisses me off a bit. It's, it's not working how it should work. Redondo, together with Malone, hurt me no more. You can, you can hear it, it has so much potential. No. Even the, the um, how's it called? Like this, this little like piano in the background, so funky. It's called Malone, so I don't know who it is. So that's why actually I can't I can't tag him. Called Hurt Me No More, yes? Hurt mm -hmm. Me No More, yeah. So, yeah, you, could, you can also check this one out on Spotify, I added it to my playlist. Redonda and Malone with Hurt Me No More. It had, it, it had more potential, I don't know, like it's it's not 100% there where, where, it, where it could be. But one track that I definitely love this week is the one that I also bought on Beatport, I believe. Uh, and it was released on um, Future Sound of Egypt UV. This is a sub-label of uh, Gaia and Fila's uh, Future Sound of Egypt. And it's it's more... Uh, so it's more of a trance label, but it seems like that they released their proper progressive house, progressive uh, trance. And I'm so in love with stuff like this. I'm truly honest. I love stuff like this. Not even lying, guys. I'm not lying. 100% honest about it. I believe what I can also play is um, Third Party's new track, Remember, in the extended mix, because I haven't played, played it on the last episode, unless the last episode was only a radio edit. As far as I remember. As far as I'm concerned. I haven't played it at all, I don't know. But this one has a drive. Oh my goodness. I played it. But I'll play it again. Because it's such a sick track. I don't care. I guess nobody in anymore, but maybe some of you pe people will watch afterwards. You can feel the drive. Like I was going crazy when I heard it for the first time. Going on and on and on. So one person is still in over on Insta. Thank you so much. Now when it goes into breakdown. I was just checking which tracks I still want to play.
Like, I would go crazy when I heard this on the dance floor. This is exactly my style. This is actually Pete K is actually doing stuff like this. And not even as progressive. This one is sick. I actually sent this Pete K and I'll ask him about his opinion. I'm gonna do this. He's not watching right now, but I'm very close to him. But I, I love this. I love this one. It's su such a progressive vibe. You know, it goes on and on and on. So in love. Actually, I don't know this guy. He's called Dilhem. With a Y and a H in his name. Let me check him. He has 866 likes. Guys, this is insane. And I find his music. His track is called Formir. Uh, and it's absolutely sick. So in love. I don't know why, why guys like this don't get more recognition. These guys are fucking sick. I guess it was already released a couple of, uh, like a month ago or so. But I'm still so in love with this. So I actually, I, I, don't, I don't even care whether I actually, you know, um, whether I just discovered it yesterday or even, I even, I, yeah, um, maybe one more preview about the, um, about the uh, about next week, um, so next week after Christmas. Uh, so actually, we, we're gonna have a premiere because I believe at least two tracks will be in my best of 2018 that were not released in 2018, but had such a huge impact on my listening uh, experience this this year that I said, well, fuck it, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna you know play them anyways, even if they were released in 2017. Yeah, two, I guess. One, uh, one uh, duo that I'm gonna play it had released in 2018, but none of these had such a huge impact that the track that was still released in November 2017. Yeah, 17. And also it captures the vibe perfectly. But I'm, I'm gonna talk about this next week, so we're not gonna actually do much more. Maybe one more, because uh, he definitely deserves a shout out. Uh, Quentin. He's called. Uh, you probably still remember. Um, what was he? Uh, they, they called Martin Volt and Quinton's. Yeah, Martin Volt and Quinton State. Is it correct? Yeah, Martin Volt and Quinton State, or later than short Volt and State. Unfortunately, they do not do music together anymore. They went like separate directions. But Quinton is actually carrying on, and he used to do a lot of. Um, uh, this, what's it called? The new one, Future Bass and stuff like this, so I'm not a, such a huge fan of. But he also released a new track um, that's coming back to the Vault and State roots, I would say, and it's called Jerusalem. I definitely want to give it a platform here. And this is part one, the extended mix. I love doing everything on the go, it's like so simple. I, I love to take the time, you know, and still... Quentin, uh, oh there it is. Quentin with uh, Jerusalem part one. Beautiful vocal, I really love it. Greg, tune in, thank you so much for joining. The last couple of minutes. I love the build up. And a very nice um, melodic drop that actually comes back to the roots of Golden State. Very beautiful. Speaking of beautiful drops, um, you can check out the track uh, later then, also for yourselves. It's also will be also my Spotify playlist that I drop around an hour or so, one and a half hours after the show. And um, 
Yeah, I want to play once again. Now in the extended mix, because I guess last time I played only the radio edit. Uh, third party, remember. So um, you probably saw it on my Facebook yesterday that the word is finally out. Third party's second or sophomore album will be released in February 2019 and, it's will, and it will be called Together. Uh, I knew it for a longer time. Actually, actually I didn't know it properly. I don't know. I was, it, I was assuming it was, will be called like this. With some help at Release Family, we actually find it, found it out together. And um, yeah, I'm actually very happy that, um, that it's finally coming because it's been four singles already. So we had um, Free, we had Midnight, we had uh, Come With Me, and now we have Remember. So this is the fourth single of a wonderful, beautiful journey once again. I have to skip it again because I'm running out of time. I have two minutes left. Basically, I don't want to go any longer. Robin is in, thank you so much for joining. We should talk again somewhere. Facebook or WhatsApp or whatever. Will you, will you still have a release this year? I guess not. I guess next year. These vocals. I know the vocalists. I know the vocalists. It's actually very easy. I love actually how they build up, so it's always beautiful to listen to. You had it already in my last playlist, but I'm gonna add it again here because it's it's such a wonderful track. I need to, I need to. Yeah, shout out to the guys. Such beautiful music. For such for, for years already, they never cease to disappoint me, uh, to, to amaze me, sorry, never cease to amaze me. So that's definitely... I cannot even give them... Uh, third party music, third party life, yeah, third party music on Facebook. Okay, so this is this one. I guess uh, that's the last one that I wanted to play from this side. And actually, you can still, uh, still actually watch my t-shirt, it's called Deus Maximus. This is uh, from uh, the um, uh, from uh, that was in the box. Maybe you saw my unboxing on Insta um, of the of this box. Here, wait, I have it here. Um, so I, I bought this off Amazon. I guess it was forty something euros, or maybe even less. It's called um, Monument. This is the album by my favorite German rapper. It will probably his la be his last. Um, uh, his last solo album for a longer time and as you don't understand the lyrics I want to give you at least a, uh, an idea of the music so uh, the best thing was about uh, something that was inside the box which is the instrumental CD I guess I still have it somewhere here give me a second I have to look for it oh it's it, uh, actually uh, yeah just I believe where is it? There we go. Okay. So when I actually put this into the camera, you'll see it mirrored, but maybe on YouTube it will be visible. It is written there, instrumentals. Sorry. Here, instrumentals. And um, and yeah, and I'll play maybe one or two tracks, and then I'll call it a day. Um, so I have like a, a, a specific folder for this. I, I call it uh, rap slash, hip hop slash rap albums. Yeah. Actually, it's it's under, underscore because slash is not possible. It's 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 uh, it's impossible to uh, call to have a, a slash in your um, in your folder name in uh, in in Windows, as you may know. So I really liked uh, "Dear Lord," uh, which was, I believe, his first single. And you can hear from the tag who is the producer of the beat. Hear it. Eight. We're now listening to Arab music. Arab music actually is very um, known, I believe, in our scene, for, but actually more for his um, uh, like DJ skills or like live skills because he's really uh, having a. Um, it's not a drum machine. It's something different. It's called um, uh, um, MPC, I guess it's called something like this. MPC machine. I don't know what it's called. Uh, wait, give me a second. How's the house called? Uh, yeah. I guess it's called MPC Machine, and it's by, yeah, dr uh, Drum Pads Beats Maker, something like this, it's called Akai, yeah. So Akai is actually the producer of these kind of things, 
and um, and yeah, he's actually having two archives there, and he's actually uh, put like pressing uh, the, those pads, you know, where he had a certain a short um, audio file and he's actually playing music with this so he once did dubstep with this and it's uh, and it sounded sick so i'll probably add this uh, also on the in the uh, in the description on youtube i guess later so and this is actually how it sounds like i love hip hop beats it's actually a great you know you can hear hip hop beats basically everywhere uh, so especially on tv so yeah really a lot so this one was my, I, I like this one, and then I like um, the Aston Miles, the first time, so very nice. So this one, definitely. I would have to check out whether they are on Spotify, the, the instrumentals, I'm not sure. Actually, I don't want to actually to, to actually talk, actually to pull you so much in. Uh, but the music is very nice, yeah. Not all the beats are by Arab music, but... So it's actually nice to actually, you know, mix things up a bit and play some 90s BPM stuff. But actually, um, I can actually, you know, take a hip hop beat and talk about EDM stuff because it's not really fitting. Then he had gospel. Gospel was also a very nice beat. Uh, the flow is a very, way different one on this one. It's a rather quick beat, I would say. So. I won't even actually now rap now, but I just want to give you an idea how it sounds like. And at the end I'll play Kohiba Symphony. I love Kohiba Symphony, the beat on this one. Mm. Yeah, so when it's only about the music, so about the lyrics, uh, I like the second album more. I showed you there are two albums in there. Um, there is the, the, the Monument album where they also have the instrumentals. But also there is the... This one is by Arab Music, for example, again. Was it's more for chillier one. So yeah, we had here two CDs. So we had the Monument album and we had this uh, Hood Tape Volume 3. And um, and from this Hood Tape, unfortunately, there, there are none um, instrumentals, so I can't really play that. But yeah, this one is, I believe, the perfect track uh, to finish the last regular episode of the Busy Cast. So thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. Uh, the whole year, basically. So I wouldn't be um, the one I am on this PC cast without you, without all the support I get. And also, I'm very thankful for some people who are saying that they love my Spotify playlists. Uh, I do it all for you. And yeah, I believe uh, we are a great community, even if it's small. And uh, I'm very thankful for uh, the opportunities that you are giving me, that you actually have uh, giving me always new material to support you and actually it's, it goes both ways so I support you you support me to some extent so I'm very uh, I'm also very thankful always so yeah and next week after Christmas because Christmas is on uh, so um, Christmas Eve is on Monday where we also eat dinner the like the festive dinner and then a festive um, uh, breakfast on the 25th and that's basically uh, <laughs> that's basically the whole um, because Boxing Day is not very uh, no, not surprising, but uh, I don't know, like, um, very, uh, like, we're not celebrating Boxing Day as much. And, yeah, and that was basically, that's basically a Christmas for us. And then, uh, yeah, and then after that, I will um, tell you a bit about my favorite 2018 tracks. I will try to mix, um, like, 70 minutes of my favorite tracks, but I'm not sure what I'll make it next, um, next weekend. Yeah, and I believe that's it. Uh, on Instagram, I'm also finishing now in 10 seconds. So thank you, uh, very, uh, thank you so much, guys, for joining in over on Instagram. And yeah, and I hope that um, some of you will also see it on uh, YouTube later. Then. Yeah. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. And yeah, um, I'll drop the Spotify playlist. Yeah, in, somewhere in the, in the evening still. So thank you so much, and I can't wait for the best of 2018 special next week. Um, will be very exciting. Uh, I'm very interested also in your favorite track, so I'll definitely also drop a um, a post uh, somewhere this week, maybe next week. Uh, what were your favorite? Your favorite? What your favorite tracks were of 2018? Until then, see you next time, and yeah. Uh, have a great week still, and uh, I'll also tell you more about Kölsch, of course, live, 
uh, when I'll be at um, at Horst or like the the evening after. We'll see how the service will be there now. Anyway, thank you so much and yeah, have a great week still and see you. Yeah, and for those that I don't see or don't write anymore, of course, have a safe and very Merry Christmas. Spend it with your beloved ones because you only have some of them with your family, with your friends, whoever is close to you, the closest to you, because this is important during um, Christmas to really spend the time with uh, the, close, the, the people that are the closest to you, family and friends. So have a very Merry Christmas and see you next week. Bye.